What's going on everybody, Nintendo 91 here, bringing you guys the first ever Black Ops 3 gameplay to my channel. I just got the beta downloaded today, it took forever. I did the digital copy uh, pre-order so that I didn't have to do any access code or anything or wait for an email, so that was nice. Um, I'm just adjusting my stuff here real quick, this is my first match ever in this game, so I'm trying to get used to how you can adjust the vertical and horizontal sensitivity independently of each other. Using the first default assault rifle. And honestly, this first match felt really good. Uh, the beta connection is very spotty for the fact that not so many people have the beta, so you're playing with people scattered all over the place, so the connections are all over the place. Plus, I think the beta servers aren't exactly the strongest right now. Uh, here you can see I fail on my very first wall run. I had no idea what the hell I was doing or how it worked exactly, how you engage it. So I'm trying to figure that out just by running against there. Um, I really like the feel of the game, though, so far. I've been playing it, I've been having a lot of issues though, the games after this where it freezes up or I just, the game freezes before I even get into a match. Um, but you kill quick in this game. It doesn't feel like Advanced Warfare where it took a full clip to kill somebody and I really don't mind these movements at all because of how you, when you actually are playing this game, you have to hold down the X button, or the A button, I mean when you jump. So you don't just tap it once and then fly through the air. The The amount of time that you hold the X or A button down is the amount of time that you boost for. And it's a very slow boost. So when I use up my max boost, I'm literally sitting there holding the A button down. But if I just hold it for a second, I'll do a light boost. Um, you'll kind of notice it throughout the game. Now, the hit detection was really on in this lobby. I don't know why in this first match it felt so good. Later on, it started to get sloppy just because of the connection was so bad. But I really am enjoying this game. I think this game is going to be big for Call of Duty. I think it's going to actually bring back everything. This wall running doesn't really do anything. Yeah, it's so unnecessary. You're only going to find yourself doing it in those types of situations when you want to take that route of the map. Every other moment in the game, majority of people just stay on the ground. There's very little boost jumping at all. A lot of people are just kind of running around on the ground. It's nice and convenient to get up to areas like that, but outside of it, it's not used as a tactic to really avoid gunfire. Um, it, it definitely doesn't carry over the same feel from Advanced Warfare. So they, they definitely refined the boost jumping in this game to make it where it's something that isn't an advantage to you or a way to, you know, get away from a gunfight. Um, outside of that, the weapon so far, this weapon... I thought it was pretty good in this lobby, so I kept using it, and then later on I tried experimenting with some other guns. I do use the SMG sometimes. The first SMG was pretty good. I enjoyed it. Uh, the second one I had a real hard time with. As you can see, there's a little bit of lag right here. Here I'm using the Sparrow, which in all honesty, I don't really care for. I don't think it's fun to use at all. I, I think it's just a, a waste of time. I'd rather just use my gun. Half of the time I, I select it and then I switch it out for my gun just so I can get rid of the yellow shit sitting in the bottom of the screen there because I always think that I have a kill streak when in actuality it's just that. Oh, right there I got melted. So now I try the SMG out, which this thing just reminds me of like an MP5 or something like that. Um, it's a, it was decent in this match. I tried using it a little later on on a different map that had a little longer range of sight or line of sight and it didn't work too well. So you really have to kind of adjust it for what map you're on. This map is a smaller map compared to some of the other ones. Uh, majority of your engagements are going to take place once you get to this middle area. You can really spawn trap in this game, or at least lock them down very easily. So that's kind of back. However, I did think rushing was back. Yeah, a lot of people said that rushing kind of disappeared after Modern Warfare 2. I thought it, Black Ops 2 you could rush decently. I always That's pretty much the style of play I would always play. So it's nice that I can do that again in this game and, you know, quickly see somebody and just mow them down. Uh, as you can see, I'm getting a little corner lag. As I go around these corners, it starts to lag. Saw some guy running through here, so... The, but look at this. I mean, majority of the time, I'm just running around on the ground. So there's very little need for the boost jumping, which I, a lot of people are going to like. I, I personally am enjoying every, uh, every game I've played. Obviously, there's some lag. That's... Yeah, like I said, it's going to happen. There's not many people playing the beta. Um, everybody's at school right now because I'm recording. Well, when I was doing this, it was like 10:30 in the morning. Majority of people that are gonna play this game are at school and have the beta. So I'm playing with people that are scattered all over the country, meaning my my Xbox has to go all over the place to make a connection and ping. So that's why there's a little bit of lag. Um, there is some issues though on the actual game side in terms of 
freezing and stuff that they're still working on. I've had it happen about six times in a row where either the game freezes before I'm joining a lobby or the game freezes halfway through and I just get the connection interrupted screen and then it uh, just drops out completely. I've had that happen a few times. Of uh, probably the 15 matches I've tried to get into, I've only been able to play probably like five games just because of this issue constantly happening. Uh, I've done everything from resetting the Xbox, hard reset, to resetting my internet, and it doesn't seem to do anything. It's just kind of a hit or miss. I've played both Kill Confirmed, I've played Domination. I didn't want to do Team Deathmatch because I figured too many people would be camping. Um, domination, generally people are running around more, and Kill Confirmed, generally people run around more to get the tags, so I wanted to do those right off the bat. My second game I think I did was Kill Confirmed, and it was actually a lot of fun. I believe I have some video for it, which I'll probably post later on. But I just wanted to let you guys know that I do finally have Black Ops 3 Beta. I am enjoying it a lot. Um, this game will be so much better once they get the servers and everything on par and the little bugs out of it. Obviously, it's to be expected. So, uh, the only frustrating part is when you're trying to play the game and then you're having a real fun time and then it just kicks you out. And then you gotta wait to get into another lobby. That's a little frustrating, but... <laughs> grenade fail. But that, outside of that, I have to say the game's very fun. Um, it's still gonna have people camping. There's a lot of areas that had glitch down lines of sight, so there is going to be camping, so you're just going to have to be aware of that. You'll learn the spots. In terms of spawns, the spawn system in this game seems pretty solid. I've heard a lot of other people say that, you know, if one team's holding C and B, the other, or, yeah, C and B, the other team's going to be spawning at A, like literally on A. I found that to be pretty true in this game. Um, this map, I think there's really only... Like, three spawns on each side. You know, one, you're way behind your flag. One, you spawn on the left. And then one, you spawn kind of up on the right uh, at the C flag. The A side, I found that the you're really spawning r behind the A flag or you're spawning on the left side of the A flag. Of course, that's granted when you're facing B. So, like, you, I've never spawned here. I spawn further back to where I'm looking left. And then, um, never really in the building. That guy might have actually spawned there. I, I personally haven't yet. But then if I, uh, I think I'm gonna run to where the other spot I've spawned before is. Nope, I go the other way, never mind. Oh, here's a guy. So you can spawn back in there, I guess, if you're at A. And then some people are on the other side. So learning the spawns in this game isn't too, uh, too difficult. You just kind of always pay attention to where you start out. Take a quick note of where you start out, because then you know that the other, other team is gonna spawn there at some point, and you can always know where they're gonna start based on where the rest of your team is. So, as you can see, I mean, I'm melting people pretty well with this gun. I, I'm getting double kills. Right here, I just get owned because another guy came around the corner. But it, it's a fun game. It's got smooth gameplay. There's flow to it. The maps have three lanes, pretty much. Um, it, it, it's a lot of fun so far. Some of the bigger maps are a little bit of more pain in the ass because there's a lot of head glitches. So you do get some campers trying to lock you in. But as of right now, my, my complete overall opinion on the game is very... Uh, very satisfactory. I, I'm enjoying it. I think it's going to be fun. I can't wait for the actual game to come out. I think it's going to help spawn Call of Duty back to what it is because it does have that Black Ops 2 feel and the, the sounds are all Black Ops 2. So once this game comes out, I think everybody that's still playing Black Ops 2 is going to make the shift and uh, League Play or Arena should be pretty fun. There you go. I got a Sparrow kill with a lot of lag. Look at that guy jumping through the air. 24 and 18. I mean, my first game. I don't really know the map, so I'm just trying to have fun running around exploring and then try to survive any engagement I get into or kill anybody I see. So that's how I play when I first get into these games. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and let this kind of just play out till the end. But if you guys did enjoy this and you want to see more, please leave a like. I'm going to be posting a lot more. I've been recording a lot of the games that I have been able to play. I'm trying to go for decent scores, but at the same time, I'm just trying to get as many objective captures as I can because that's the quickest way to rank up and unlock more stuff so I can show it to you guys. So um, expect more videos coming here. I don't know how long this is going to stay open for the beta. I think like a week maybe or a couple days, but uh, I'm definitely going to be able to play it today. Oh, sorry. I'm a little tired. Today, Friday maybe, Sunday and uh, possibly Tuesday morning if it's still open. But uh, thanks for watching again, guys. Leave a like if you did enjoy this. If you uh, would do that, I would greatly appreciate it. And leave a comment if you guys want to play. I'm looking for people to play on Xbox One. So just hit me up. My gamer tags in 10kid91, and we can uh, play sometime. Take care, and see you later.